EVA, absolutely brilliant stuff. We all use it in angling now. It's waterproof, it's great for storing your kit, keeping it dry, it's good for storing your bait as well. However, it can have a really high failure rate. I've got here one of the Guru tubs, one of the highest spec EVA products on the market. The zips failed on it, so completely useless. So why do the zips go on your EVA? Well, first up, you'll notice that um, the EVA products you use for storing your kit, the zips tend to last a long time on these. Uh, this one is full of feeders. No problem at all, I've had that for years. However, the ones that um, you keep baiting, like I've got uh, another one of the uh, Guru tubs here. Um, I use this for storing uh, ground bait on the bank. You know, it nicely fits a kilo of ground bait. And what you'll find is, it's when you're washing the tubs, that's when um, the zips start to go. Uh, I, I don't know whether there's uh, like, like an oil, something that's, that's on the zips. If you keep washing the tubs, then eventually the zips stiffen up. And then once they start stiffening up, you start pulling on them, that's when they start to fail. So first tip I've got is try and wash your EVA as little as possible. When you finish with your ground bait or bait, you chuck it in the lake margins. Don't then give it a, a swish in the lake because that's, that's going to get the zips wet. Uh, you're far better off take it home with a bit of ground bait residue in it, leave it open in your garage, shed or, or whatever, let it all dry out and then uh, a few days later or before you next go fishing, I'll just keep this old um, brush next to my outside tap. You can just give it a quick brush round. You can scrape off the dried out ground bait, chuck it out and away you go. However, over time, you will find you do need to wash it every now and again. It just ends up in a right old state like uh, some of these tubs that I've got here. So, best thing you can do to preserve the zips is just use a little bit of WD-40. Now, the last thing you want to do is you don't want to taint your paint and gear with WD-40s. So you've got to be very careful with it. All the cans, they all come with these little nozzles. So, best way to do it is just carefully put a stream of WD-40 round the zip whilst it's zipped up, then run the zip back and forth a couple of times to work the WD-40 in and loosen up the zip. You'll find as long as you've got a nice free working zip, the zips don't fail and you'll find like that your EVA uh, luggage lasts a lot lot longer. Only other thing that's worth doing is before you put any gear or bait back into these, if you do it in the week uh, before you're going to be fishing, you can then leave it out for a couple of days, let it all dry off, and you should find that if you keep the WD-40 in the confines of the zip and not all over the place, it's not going to affect your bait. Your luggage is going to be good to use again at the weekend. Now, this little tip, it doesn't just work with EVA luggage, it works with all your standard luggage as well. So whether it's your pole roller bags, your carryalls, your rod bags, as soon as the zips start stiffening up, give them a little bit of a squirt. Make sure you use obviously the tube so it doesn't go everywhere and uh, you'll find that all your fishing gear just lasts that little bit longer.